everyone. I'm Santosh. I work on uh, Docker networking. So today, um, just want to give a couple of recent changes in the lib network, the Docker networking. One is the node local networks in swarm mode. So till recently, with us, when you create a swarm service, you can attach it to an overlay network. Or if you publish a port, it automatically connect, gets connected to the ingress network for the routing mesh. But there are uh, many use cases where you want to connect a service to a node local network, like a host mode network or a bridge network or, it's, or in Mac VLAN. So the change that we did now is uh, with the service create, you can choose what kind of local network you want to connect to. Um, the, uh, the main difference in the case of the node local networks with Swarm services is that the, the Swarm manager doesn't do any resource allocation. It happens in the local nodes. For things like host mode and bridge mode, it's pretty straightforward. When you do a service create, you just say it's network equal to host or bridge. It's exactly similar to the way we do it on Docker Run, um, like this example has here. For the Mac VLAN network, the, uh, there, are, there, are, there are some deployments, like especially in data centers where you have uh, strict underlay requirements in terms of IP addressing and subnetting, or where you want access to the non-containerized workloads in, in the data centers. So that's where we see a lot of requests coming for Mac VLAN type of deployments. So in the case of Mac VLAN with the Docker Swarm, the fundamental challenge is that Mac VLAN needs a parent interface, which is local to the, uh, which can be different on different hosts. But also we want service discovery for Mac VLAN because Mac VLAN allows underlay connectivity, so it makes sense to have an inbuilt service discovery working like the way it does for overlay networks. Um, so the so what you've done is there is an UX option now. So where you can say on a given node, you can actually say configure what a network should look like. It's um, it's it's the config only option. When you say network, when you do a network create, you can say config only, which has a specific set of network parameters that are local to the local to that node. And later, when you create the network from the swarm manager, you can you can say what is the network config that has to be picked up. So the so the network when it gets plumbed on the node, it gets it picks up the configs that are local to the local to that node. So in that way, for Mac VLAN, you can define things like the parent interface that are specific to a node, um, but still create the network from the manager. And the um, for the service discovery to work, the another requirement is that the network should have a unique ID. So that is what we are achieving by having this kind of a split model where you create the network in the manager, but specify the configs for the network at the node level. Um, so. so the, yeah, so in this case, there's an example here. So if you look at, in this case, there's a node one, um, which has a different IP range, which is like a CIDR range of, of the subnet of the uh, network. But also you can specify the parent interface differently. So in this case, it's ETH3 on node one and ETH2 on node two. And in the manager, when you create the network, you have to specify the scope as swarm and also config from. So the config from is the one that associates the network at the manager level with the node local config that is configured. Um, it can be configured differently on different nodes. And from that point on, the service, there is no difference in for the service create. It just looks like any other network, with the difference being that in the case of Mac VLAN, the service discovery defaults to the DNS RR mode. So the reason for that is, uh, like, uh, like I mentioned earlier, in the case of Mac VLAN, there is no central resource allocation. So the manager cannot assign a unique VIP. So what happens is we kind of default to the DNS RR based um, uh, service discovery. So if you look up, if you look up the service name, it's going to give you a bunch of backend task IPs. So this is Mac VLAN. This is available. Uh, this will be available in the uh, 1706. So please give it a try if you have any issues. Be happy to help. So that's one. Uh, the second part is I want to cover is what we are working on is uh, improving the um, sort of the visibility and the debugging options for the overlay network. So the over Docker overlay relies on this gossip protocol. It's uh, it's like a quick refresh. It has what we do is a net network scoped gossip. So the nodes exchange um, the routing information that are scoped by the network only to the peers that participate in the same network. 
So the information that we exchange in gossip is used is used for a bunch of things, which is uh, which I listed on the left side, which is service discovery, the load balancer programming, the ingress routing mesh, and also the overlay connectivity between the nodes. So all of that relies on the gossip information that's exchanged between the nodes. Um, so one challenge that we have today is when things don't work well, sometimes in different in a, in a given node, there are a lot of things that we need to check, but it's a little harder to uh, uh, there is no one single place where we are able to show the information, all the inf all the information that we need to, you know, debug a particular issue. So, so what we are trying to do is somehow expose the information that is exchanged through gossip in a meaningful way to the user. So there are two things here. One is if you do a network inspect, there is something. There is a section called peers. It shows the peer nodes for a given network. So that is one way you can quickly check if your gossip cluster is fully working and functional across all the nodes. So um, the second is if you, in, in, in the uh, 1706, what is available is Docker network inspect dash verbose. So the verbose option presents in, in the network inspect output, it has the, it actually for that node, whatever is in the gossip, gossip state, it's shown as, it's shown in the verbose output. So if you have like a bunch of services running, and if you run network inspect verbose on a node, that will show all the task information that's running on the node. Uh, I have an example output. So this is the, um, if you do a Docker network inspect ingress, this would show the, uh, the list of peers. So one thing about the ingress network here is ingress is sort of like a special infra network where all the nodes are participating. So if you have a 10 node cluster and you do a Docker network inspect ingress, and you don't see all the 10 nodes, it means that there is some kind of misconfiguration in your network. Ingress network should always show you all the nodes that you have in the cluster. So it's a quick way to check if the gossip itself is working consistently across all the nodes. The second one is the um, network inspect verbose, which actually, um, if you look at it in this case, it shows service S1, what is its web, what is the published port, and all the tasks associated with it. So this information is presented from the gossip exchange that happens between the nodes. So this actually is a quick way to check uh, what is the you know, IP address and tasks that are running across all the nodes in the cluster. Till we made this change, a node in network inspect will be able to show you only the local tasks. Now with this, you have an option to uh, look at the state of the, uh, the cluster-wide view of the services. And actually this also gives us interesting ways to uh, troubleshoot things. For example, I've listed three things here. One is, uh, for example, you have, uh, in this case, there is this network ingress with uh, a service S1 with three tasks. So with this information, you can actually do a check against the kernel IPVS entries to see if the IPVS, in, IPVS table also has three entries program. It can be used as a consistency check between the Docker's, Docker daemon state versus what is in the kernel. and uh, also, uh, for the routing mesh, we program a bunch of IP table rules to steer the packet to the backend. With the information that's presented here, it's easy to you know, write a utility that does this end-to-end -end check to see if all the IP table rules are there or programmed correctly. And the other aspect is the uh, checking the gossip state. So gossip is sort of like an eventual uh, consistency model where things only, uh, a given node sends information to a small set of nodes, that node propagates it to some other set of nodes. So it can take little, it can take, there can be a lag before the, all the nodes in the cluster are up to date with the information. So, so what this allows is if you run a Docker network inspect verbose on a bunch of nodes and compare the output, they should all be consistent. If they are not, it means that there is something still not syncing in the gossip state. So these are all the things that you can do with um, the output that's presented here. So uh, we are working on a tool that does exactly this it's right now in my repo, eventually we will move it to probably in a Mobi, um, under the Mobi project somewhere. Um, so I'll do a, I'll show a quick demo of what it will, what it will look like. Um, in this case, I'll show the, for example, the IPVS entries being consistent in the kernel and what is in the Docker daemons control plane. Uh, three node cluster. 
and there's an overlay network. So let me create a couple of services on this. I have the commands just typed in ready to go. Okay, so I'm creating a service S1 attached to the overlay network and it also has a port published. So it's going to be connected to the ingress network as well. So now both S1 and S2 are running. They have three replicas each. Now let's run the, um, the tool that I mentioned. So to run this tool, you actually have to mount the Docker socket. It runs in the privileged mode because it has to go look up all the kernel entries. So now what it is doing is it is checking all the LB entries and it is looking at both the services S1 and S2. In this case, it, it, it is okay. So so let's say I'll, I'll um, just to simulate a um, uh, an, uh, an error situation. Let's go into the in ingress sandbox. So, so if you do an IPVS ADM, right now it will show you, see we have two services with the three tasks each. This is the load balancer that's programmed in the ingress sandbox. So I'm just going to remove one of the entries just to uh, simulate an uh, error situation. So let's say I remove it from this uh, error marker. Whatever it is. So what I did now is for one service, I removed one of the backend uh, backend tasks in the kernel IPVS programming, but the Docker daemon still has the right state in this case. It, the Docker daemon would, would know that the given both the services have three tasks each. So now let's go back and if you run the tool again, in this case I'm running it on the I'm running it on the ingress network here. So if you look at it now, it's detecting that there is an incorrect uh, LB programming for service S1. The control plane has three tasks, but in the IPVS kernel state, there are only two entries. So this gives um, um, Consistent, it's like a consistency checker between the control plane state and the uh, kernel state. And this, you can, you can check out the repo. This tool also has uh, uh, an option to check the gossip state across nodes. So what, what it does is it spawns a global service that runs on all the nodes, gets the Docker inspect verbose output for the, for the network from all the nodes, compares, uh, makes a you know, MD5 hash, checks if it's consistent across all the nodes. So, and it's still work in progress. We're trying to add more features to it and hopefully it'll be in a better, it will be more complete soon. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the link right there. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. If you have any questions.